In today's video, I will teach you how to make a fun photo strip in PicMonkey. Let's get started. First, create a canvas with a size of 600 by 1500 pixels. Go to PicMonkey's homepage, click the Edit New Image option, and select Collage. This will open up PicMonkey's Canvas preset library, which contains a wide variety of canvas size presets for every social media and prints. Now, input your custom width and height at the upper right corner of the panel. And once you're done, you can now click Make It to open the canvas in PicMonkey's editor. In the editor, you will notice different collage templates at the left side. The traditional strip has four frames stacked on top of each other, so make sure to select a template with four collage cells stacked. If you found one with four stacks that has extra collage cells in it, simply delete the extra cells by selecting it and either pressing the delete key on your keyboard or simply click on the X button at the upper right corner of the cell that you've selected. You can also adjust the amount of spacing in between the cells in the spacing slider. You also have the option to round up the edges of the cells, but to make the design similar to the traditional photo strip, I will leave the corner as it is. Now, to add images to your collage, go to the Photos and Videos tab. And you can either use stock images from PicMonkey stock library, or you can upload your own image by clicking on the Add Photo or Video button. Once your image is uploaded, you can now add it to your collage by simply dragging the image into the cell. Or you can just click on the autofill cells. Now, if you would like to make your photo strip a little more fancy, you can use PicMonkey's photo strip templates. To do this, click the file option on the menu bar and select template. This will create a blank workspace where you can create a new design. Now, go to the Templates panel and type in Film Strip on the search bar. This will show every template with film strips and all of them are completely customizable. To open one, simply click on it and it will automatically appear on your canvas. To replace the photo on the template, simply right-click on the photo that you would like to replace and select Replace Image. Now, select your image source then open the chosen image in PicMonkey. Now, just play around with your design until you're satisfied. And once you're done, you can now save it to your computer or share it to your social media. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.